I am a weird, weird farmer. And I'll tell you, I don't like farming. I understand its importance. I'd like to support it, and I'll do it. But I don't really enjoy, you know, going out into a garden and spending all my time there messing with plants. Uh, it's not my goal in life. I'm a philosophical farmer. Um, other people can actually do it. I think a lot of industrial people and the industrial world people have a fantasy that it's really fun to do farming. But actually, it's relatively boring. Um, it's dirty. Uh, so I'd like to explore other ways of doing farming. Now, there still need to be people hands-on doing things in the garden, and I want to support that and, and promote it. But I want to figure out, like, how we can farm smarter without big machines, without uh, chemicals and irrigation and greenhouses. And so I want to explore and develop systems of farming that don't need those things. Ideally, they would need less labor. Of course, there's just labor involved. Uh, if we're going to produce enough food to feed ourselves and not just be hunter-gatherers, then what, what we need to do is kind of bring the, the agricultural systems and farming systems closer to being a hunter-gatherer type system where we just walk around and harvest. That is the goal. Um, and it's tricky. I think I'm actually a perfect person to to develop those kind of systems because I don't enjoy the actual doing of it. And I think a lot of people that think they enjoy doing it are not willing to do the actual work that it requires to, <laughs> it's required to feed themselves. Uh, it's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, that's the problem set. And uh, so I like farming as a puzzle. I like farming as, as a challenge to figure out how we can grow more with less energy and how we can collect other types of foods. Right now, food diversity in terms of like what we eat is actually really limited. We have very few grains we eat. We have very few plants we eat because we're eating industrially farmed things that are all oil-fueled. So this, this goal is to develop not just a food forest farm with the normal things, but to have this entire massive community of plants that feed us, this massive diversity that, that also support all the other living organisms in the system. That is a totally different way to do things. And the advantage of, of me doing this is that I don't feel like doing it. You know, I love the thought part, but I don't want to do it. And the reason that's important is because people who who like doing it too much are might maybe more willing to do uh, more efficient methods, nor more inefficient methods because they like the idea of it, and uh, they're not then a good measure of what actually works. And I think if you even give them the opportunity to do it, most of them don't want to do it. So that's one of the messages I can help people learn is that they don't really want to do agriculture the way it's been done. It doesn't feed us well enough. Uh, people have been beaten by the industrial system. Uh, labor is simply better placed elsewhere in many cases. So I don't have a lot of illusions about, you know, people prancing around around gardens and, and growing things because um, it's a job, you know. It's real work involved. So this is true also in cooking, for example. The person who, who designs the kitchen system should not be a person who likes standing around the kitchen chatting uh, and cooking. It should be somebody who's interested in producing the most amount of food for the least amount of energy, human energy, uh, propane, heat, everything, all the types of energy we put into something, storage of food. The right people to design a system are not the people who, who want to give their energy to that for, for free. We want people who, who don't want to do it to design the system so that it's efficient and uh, can be very successful. So, yeah, I don't like farming, but I'm going to be an awesome farmer. I already am doing okay. You know, uh, the few successes I have are real successes. And, and I hope that they serve for uh, many generations.